Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how you can use Have I Been Pwned as a means to find out what information and data of yours is on the dark web. Now Have I Been Pwned is a website that was created a few years back by Troy Hunt, a cybersecurity expert who wanted a way for the average person to be able to find out if their information is on the dark web. The problem with data breaches is that many times companies aren't forthcoming when it comes to having large scale data breach. When a data breach occurs, it means that a company either by employee theft or cyber criminals have infiltrated or infiltrated, let's get that word right, a network and get access to usernames and passwords. In these data breaches, criminals will either take that user data themselves or they will save it, sell it or trade it on the internet for other criminals to have access to. As a result, when criminals have access to your information, then it means that they can log into your accounts. Sometimes they do it in methods called credential stuffing, where they just take random bits of information of yours and just stuff it in login information, not login information, that's the word I'm looking for, <laughs> login prompts. There we go. That will allow them to get to your accounts. And also, uh, if they just have your credentials, they can just log in and take over your accounts. That's why you see a lot of social media accounts getting hacked, emails getting hacked, and financial and other sites getting hacked. Not to mention, you're going to love this one. Streaming sites are getting hacked as well. Well, let's take a look at Have I Been Pwned and give you, well, I'll give you an understanding of how it works and how you can use it to protect yourself. So let's switch to Have I Been Pwned and there's a website which you can find at haveibeenpwned.com. So as you can see, Have I Been Pwned is just one of those tech tongue twisters that's out there. But the verbiage comes from pwned or owned, which means a cyber criminal has basically owned you. If you look at your keyboard, you'll notice that the O and the P are together. So when it was originally typed out, I own you or you've been owned, someone accidentally put a P and the rest is history. So let's take a look at have I been pwned and see how this website works. Now, when you go to the main page, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can enter in your email address and push the word pwn, but also you can look at some of the other breaches that have um, occurred with major online websites that have had their information stolen. And if you look down there and see, Facebook accounts are up there with 500 million accounts breaches or breached. And then they can tell you breaches that have occurred recently of companies that you may deal with that aren't being so forthcoming with their information. As you can see, some accounts are small and breached, others are pretty large. But all in all, you really have to put it into your own hands to make sure that you are protecting yourself from all the data breaches out there. So let's go back to Have I Been Pwned and see how this works. So Have I Been Pwned at the website, what you want to do it's put in an email address or a series of email addresses to find out if the information containing that email is leaked, meaning that for most accounts, you're using your email address as a login. Sometimes you're using the same email address to log into multiple accounts, and that's okay because you don't have a choice. But any account that is using that email, you just go to Have I Been Pwned, click the Pwned button, after a few seconds, it's going to scroll scroll down and either give you the good news of, oh, no, you've been pwned, or yes, which I'm going to show you here in a few seconds. Um, yep, let's get this right. Type that in there and see. And it's always a good idea because you never know if an account has been pwned or not. So let's click in this. And, oh, good news is what you want. No pwnage found. That means that my account has not had any information leaked onto the dark web. But the previous account that I was showing you, the integral cc at yahoo.com, obviously has been pwned. So that is never good news. And But it's okay, it's not the end of the world as far as pwnage is concerned. You wanna make sure that 
you are taking steps to keep yourself safe. So what do you do if you've been pwned? Well, it's a pretty simple process that you need to start with. So number one, you want to go and scroll down like we're doing and ignore this section here because you have to understand that a website like Have I Been Pwned is a free website. And of course, a website like Have I Been Pwned has to be able to fund itself in order to keep information uh, um, safe and secure. That's the right word, safe and secure. So you have the option of using 1Password as the sponsor of this site. Or you can donate to Troy Hunt by going to the various Have I Been Pwned uh, buttons here. But let's scroll down to the meat of the matter and find out what needs to be taken care of. Now, when you analyze a site that is, or an instance where your information has been leaked, it will, meaning Have I Been Pwned, will tell you when the breach occurred and who was involved in the breach. And as you can see, uh, breach is an incident where data has unintentionally been exposed to the public. That means cyber criminals. Once you read the details of what has happened, you can also see what the compromised data was. And in this instance, it was email addresses in this Retina X hack and passwords that were breached as well. So in that instance, that lets you know that you've got some homework to do as far as making your account safe. So in an instance of the Retina X or Retina X or however you pronounce that, you would go into that account if you're still using a program associated with that account and change your, change your password so that it's a safe and secure password. Speaking of passwords, I would get out of that old practice of using passwords and consider using a passphrase instead. A passphrase is a combination of words and numbers that allows you to create a strong password. If you need help with a passphrase, be sure to visit usepassphrase.com and you can use either all four of these words or you can utilize um, different password combinations or passphrase combinations. Now keep in mind that whenever you visit this website, it's gonna come up with a different passphrase or if you're feeling kind of nervous, then you can generate a new passphrase for you to use to help you make a strong login for your online account. Now, going back to have I been pwned, um, if you have multiple instances of where you have been pwned, you wanna look at the information to see what was leaked and to make sure that you can uh, tackle every online account and make sure that you are keeping those accounts safe and secure. Now, some of the other things you can do with Have I Been Pwned are you can do the Notify Me instance and sign up. Get notified when future pwnage occurs and your account is compromised. It's just a simple matter of entering in your email address, proving that you're not a robot, and then you can just hit the Notify Me of Pwnage and, of course, always read the terms of service or the terms of use just to make sure you understand what's happening with your information. You can also go to Who's Been Pwned on the Have I Been Pwned website to find out what uh, companies or what websites and, and, oh, services. That's the word I'm looking for, Have Been Pwned. And you can kind of get an idea by just scrolling through the pretty lengthy list of sites that have been pwned. And then finally, one of the, well, there's two more features. So there's one with passwords. So let's say that you think you have a great password. So we'll enter in a password which keeps it safe. Let me type one in. And then we'll find out, well, is this email or, or a password been pwned? Well, let's hit it. And it will say, oh no, this password has been seen more than 203 times, which is saying quite a bit. So it gives you more clues of what you can do, but at least you can understand that with Ponich and with passwords that you can enter in your credentials uh, to find out if your password is a weak password, in other words. And then finally, with Have I Been Pwned, you can opt out of public searchability with the Have I Been Pwned website. Going back to the actual site, uh, you can go to haveibeenpwned.com forward slash opt out and you can enter in your email address, hit I'm a robot, 
and make and then you can opt out um, of having your email address on the public or being searchable on the internet. So just a few things that you can do in order to help your account safe. But I will say one of the first steps is to visit Have I Been Pwned to verify that you don't have information on the dark web. Also, you want to make sure that you are using passphrases instead of passwords for all of your online accounts. And then finally, use a password keeper. And my recommendations are the password keepers that are in your favorite browsers. Doesn't matter if you use Opera, Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and even Brave browser to ensure that your passwords are saved in your browser because they will automatically allow you to keep different passwords and passphrases for your online accounts. And all of the web browser based password keepers will send out a notification letting you know if your password has been leaked onto the dark web. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave in a comment section below. That way I can talk to you or you can find out if you're using Have I Been Pwned correctly. And with every video, because I always know that there's someone out there that's struggling and, <laughs> excuse the pun, suffering in silence, be sure to comment, like, and share this video with all of your non-tech people who need help with their technology. Now with all video or every video I make, my goal is to make sure that you're getting the most out of your technology devices at home and at work. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching. Thank you.